Hello students, in today's session, let's learn about the retail store layout. Everybody would have heard about the different forms of layout practiced by variety of retailers across the country. Now we will look into the definition of a retail store layout. Store layout is typically a blueprint of a store. It is otherwise termed as store design. Next we will look into the importance of a store layout and why do the retailers have a prime focus on this. There are predominantly three important reasons why do the re retailers go in for different forms of retail layout. The first and foremost point is it is one of the key strategies for a success of any retailer. The next point is the retailers use layout to influence the customer's behavior by designing the store's flow, product placement and ambience. The last point is this layout helps retailers in understanding how much revenue per square foot they are making and using this information they can assess the strengths and weaknesses in their merchandising mix. Now we will discuss about the various forms of layout. There are totally five different forms of retail layout. They are grid layout, racetrack layout, free flow layout, mouse trap layout and spine form layout. Let us discuss one by one. The first one is a grid layout. Grid layout is a type of a store layout in which counters and fixtures are placed in long rows and runs usually at right angles throughout the store. The aisles of the store are arranged parallel to one another and lead to the checkout lanes located at the front of the store where customers enters and exits. As you can see here the image of a grid layout which explains about the arrangement of fixtures inside the store. Mainly this type of a layout is used in grocery stores, drug stores, supermarkets and few department stores. The examples of a few Indian retail stores who adopt this kind of a layout are Reliance Fresh, Big Bazaar, Spar, Moore, Nilgiris and etc. Now let us discuss about the advantages and disadvantages of a grid layout. The advantages of a grid layout are merchandise exposure, low cost to set up, customer familiarity, possibility of self service, occupies maximum number of SKUs in the store, lots of exposure and high traffic flow etc. Next the disadvantages of a grid layout are cluttered, less space between the aisles, huge crowd, no experiential shopping, customers may be frustrated and cut out they are shopping only to what they need. Customers do not understand the grouping of the products like wine and a diaper. Limited browsing, limited creativity in decoration etc. The next one which we will discuss is a racetrack layout. It is also known as a loop layout. It provides a major aisle that loops around the store to guide the customer traffic around various departments. The racetrack layout facilitates the goal of getting the customers to see the merchandise available in different departments and facilitates impulse purchase. Customers also forced to take different viewing angles. As you can see here the image of racetrack layout which explains about the layout inside the store. It also explains that in this form of a layout how the customers are forced to have a look at all the departments though they may not be willing to visit all the departments. It is done to increase the impulse buying among the shoppers. The examples of a few retail stores who adopt this kind of a layout are IKEA, Rituvia, JCPenney etc. Now let us discuss about the advantages and disadvantages of a racetrack layout. The advantages of a racetrack layout are maximum product exposure, more impulse buying which is unplanned purchases, invest on promotions highest assurance that the customers will look into without any choice. Next the disadvantages of a racetrack layout are customers do not get to browse at will forcing the customers to go through all the aisles sometimes may lead to dissatisfaction. Customers time is wasted so they would be choosy in selecting the stores in future not suited for stores which aim at high traffic flow. So these are the few disadvantages of racetrack layout. Next we will discuss about the free flow layout. It is also known as a boutique layout. It is a type of a store layout in which fixtures and merchandise are grouped into free flowing patterns on the sales flow. It is best suited for high end shopping. A free flow store layout is ideal for clothing stores, luggage stores, watch stores etc. And they fall under the retail formats like boutiques, exclusive brand outlets and speciality shops. As you can see here the image of a free flow layout which explain about the fixture spacing and huge aisle spaces inside the store. The examples of a few retail stores who adopt this kind of a free flow layout are Pantaloons, Lifestyle, Wildcraft, Samsonite and Levi's. Now let us discuss about the advantages and the disadvantages of a free flow layout. The advantages of a free flow layout are allows browsing and wandering freely. 
increased impulse purchases, visual appeal flexibility, more spaces between the merchandises, experiential shopping, customers feel relaxed and tend to spend more hours inside the store, intense customer service. Next, the disadvantages of a free flow layout are less space provided to display products, so less number of SKUs stacked up in the store, limited assortment and variety, more space is left out as free which adds up to the price of the merchandise, high operating expenses are the few disadvantages of free flow layout. Next we will discuss about the mousetrap layout, it is also known as herringbone layout, this layout is termed as herringbone because the layout of the store looks like a bone of a fish, it is narrow store maximum 40 feet width in this layout when customers enter the store there is only one direction to go. Customers walk around the perimeter of the store stopping to pick up items they need until they reach the checkout aisles located where they originally entered. Mousetrap layouts are often used in furniture stores or music galleries and it is considered as a traditional style store layout. As you can see here the image of a mousetrap layout explains about the restrictions of a space inside the store. The examples of few retail stores who adopt this kind of a layout, toy shop in sub mall Noida. Music World and Planetium. Now let us discuss about the advantages and disadvantages of a mousetrap layout. The advantages of a mousetrap layout are suited to stores with lots of product but minimal space. Warehouse style stores open to the public may also find this layout works. Next the disadvantages of a mousetrap layout are limited visibility downside roads can increase the shoplifting opportunities. Customers can feel overcrowded and customers easily bump into one another. Spine form layout, the last one which we are going to discuss is the spine form layout. Spine form layout is a type of a layout in which a single main aisle runs from the front to the back of the store, transporting customers in both the directions. This layout is heavily used by medium sized specialty stores ranging between 2000 and 10,000 square feet of space. The layout is designed in such a way that the customers can have an access to entire store standing at one point. A store's layout displays the overall image of the store and creates the perception that customers have about the store's environment and this induces shopping as well. The examples of a few retail stores who adopt this kind of a spine form layout are United Colors of Benton, Nike, Adidas, Puma and most of them are footwear stores. Now let us discuss about the advantages and disadvantages of a spine form layout. The advantages of a spine form layout are high accessibility, good ambience and superior display. Next the disadvantages of a spine form layout are high spending on decor and more free space leads to high operating cost. Hope you have got a good insight about the different types of retail store layouts adopted by different retailers. Thank you, meet you soon, bye.